Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss a new topic, formal and informal invitations. This topic is relevant for HS second year students in general English under writing skill. This topic carries 5 marks and the word limit is 50. So let's have a look at today's topic. First, let's have a look at what is an invitation. An invitation is a kind of request mostly in written format to a person and an institution, a group of people and so on to attend a particular event, meeting, function and the like. Invitations include social functions like celebrations of birthday, engagement, wedding, marriage anniversary, appointment, promotion, inauguration of some new monument, foundation day of an institute. So, the list goes on and on. Now, types of invitations. We have two types of invitations, formal invitation and informal invitation. So, we have to follow certain criteria while writing formal and informal invitations. Write formal invitations. Let's have a look what do we need. First, formal invitations appear as formal letters printed on cards or drafted as social letters. Second, language informal invitation is polite, written in third person. Name of the addressee is not given as it is common for all. Time, date and place of the occasion is clearly mentioned. And finally, if it's a function, name of the invited guests and dignitaries are printed. Let's have a look at informal invitations. Written as personal letters. Language is written in a casual manner using first or second person. Most written to friends relatives or acquaintances so these formatting and writing techniques let's move to our first sample invitation this is a formal invitation i'll read out the question first you are the principal of second heart school Guwahati. your school has completed Glorious 50 years, draft a formal invitation to celebrate the Golden Jubilee program of your school, inviting a guest of repute in not more than 50 words. So, this is the question for our formal invitation. And let's look at our answer. This is the box. We have to create first. Writing skill we need this box. Please remember and look at the language. You are cordially invited to the glorious Golden Jubilee function, celebration. I am highlighting the event of Sacred Hearts School Guwahati. Highlighting the name of the school, invited guest of honor, Dr. A.K. Bhagavati Scientist. And now I am giving date, time and venue at the left side of the invitation card. You can write in the middle also or the right side also. It depends on you. And finally, write principal, second heart, school. So, these are the things you need to include in your invitation card. This is a form of formal invitation. Now, let's move to informal invitation. I'll read the question first. You are Nabin Nena. Invite a friend who lives in another state to your place to celebrate the coming Durga Puja at your place. You are from Kanapara, Guwahati. Now, here you have to invite a friend. So, this is the box with the cars. And as you can see, the arrow mark Kanapara, Guwahati 22. This is sender. Sender means who? Nabin or Nena. Then, date of writing the invitation now you can address your friend as dear Rajiv any name you can use it's not mentioned in the question I'll read out with utmost pleasure I would like to invite you to my place to celebrate and enjoy the upcoming Puja this year I have made all the necessary arrangements for your stay at our home and you would definitely love coming to my place 
forward me to yours sincerely nabin if you are a boy nena if you are a girl so if you can see i have written the invitation only in two sentences so make it very brief and precise don't write lengthy sentences you won't get time in your exam and it's not necessary also just include the important points okay and you can use this forward to meet you of course because you are inviting so these are types of invitations i have given you and i am giving you some sample questions to practice home so that you can develop your own writing skills i am giving four different questions related to four different topics you practice at your home and hope you have got a fair idea about formal and informal invitations so try to improve your writing skills by answering these questions for today